Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how you can receive and decode weather images from the Meteor satellites. I will show you a program that enables you to do that very easily. If you don't know what Meteor satellites are, let me give you a short introduction. The Meteor satellites are a group of weather satellites that were launched by the Russians and orbit the Earth since then in a height of about 860 kilometers. These satellites transmit a continuous digital image of the part of the Earth they are above at the moment. The Meteor satellites aren't the only weather satellites. There are also the American NOAA satellites that are transmitting analog images which have a lower quality. But this video is all about the Meteor satellites. Like other low orbiting weather satellites, Meteor M2 also transmits between 137 and 138 MHz on a frequency of 137.1 MHz. The bandwidth of the signal is 120 kHz wide. Due to the Doppler effect, the signal will shift around 7 kHz to the left during the pass. So what do you need for receiving the weather images? First of all, an antenna is needed. I'm using a double V-dipole antenna that I've built out of four pieces of copper wire, a luster clamp and a coax cable. The double V-dipole allows me to receive signals from the south as well as from the north without the need to turn the antenna. I've attached the construction to a wooden stick with wire and hot glue for putting it into the ground. I will put a link to a video that shows how to build a V-dipole in the description below. You can also use a custom Mary Ham radio antenna for the 2 meters and 70 centimeters band. You also need to have an SCR which is a small device that digitizes the radio signals. I'm using a DX Petrol because I've made the best experiences with that, but you can also use another one. Of course you also need a computer with a Linux system because GLRPT isn't supported on Windows yet. You can also mount the antenna at a fixed place with good reception conditions and use a good quality coax cable to receive the satellites on an indoor computer. The decoding program that we are going to use is GLRPT. Last but not least you also need a satellite prediction program like look for sat or gpredict to see when the next satellite passes over because you can only receive a satellite when it is above the horizon. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can install GLRPT on your Linux system. But at first you have to install the following dependencies. If you have another SDR instead of an RTL SDR, you have to download the corresponding package. So if you use an AirSpy for instance, you have to download Soapy AirSpy. After that you can navigate to the github page of glrpt, you will find the link in the description below. Just copy the link and use the git clone tool to download the source package. In case you are using an arch based distro, you can also download glrpt from the arch user repository. Then enter the glrpt folder and create a new folder called build. Then enter the folder and now you can run the following commands also shown on the github page. Now you should be able to start glrpt in the terminal. Then the following window will appear. If you are having problems after pressing the start button, please make sure that your SCR is already connected before starting GLRPT, because otherwise the SCR won't be recognized. You can also cd into user share glrpt config. There you will find three config files. And you can delete these two because Meteor M22 doesn't transmit images anymore. You can also change some values in the config file. Just open the config file with nano. And here you can set 
the driver to RTL SDR and you can also try to set the index to 2. This helped in my case. I've made the best experiences by changing the bandwidth to 130 kilohertz. Save it by pressing Ctrl and O, press enter and press X to exit. If more than one user on your Linux system wants to use glrpt, you can copy the config files in the glrpt folder in the .config folder of the users. For tracking Meteorm2, you can use the app Look for Sat, which is available in the Google Play Store and in the F-Droid. After starting the app for the first time, you first have to set your location, then update the TLE data from the web, and also the transceivers. And then you can add Meteorm2 by pressing the button on the bottom and search after Meteor. There you will find the satellite. Just press OK. And I recommend to set the time span to 72 hours and the minimum elevation to 30 degrees. After that you will see a list of the passes. Here you can see that I put the antenna into the ground and connected it to my SDR with a coax cable and an F to SMA adapter. The SDR is connected to my notebook with a USB cable. After starting GLRPT you just have to click the start button and wait about 15 minutes till the pass is over. If you want to change to another configuration just right click and go to select satellites and there you'll find your different configurations. To stop the decoding process you just have to click the start button once again. GLRPT will save four files in home user.cache GLRPT. Three of them are the separate color channels and one of them is the combined colored image. Depending on the antenna, the weather, the atmospheric conditions and your location, you will have more, less or even no stripes in your images.